right guys aquatic bobs here want to do another video today and answer a couple of my most commonly asked questions uh, number one what are your water parameters and number two is do you dose anything uh, what do you add to the tank and number three is how much did all this cost to set up and and get going and to maintain it and so I appreciate you guys watching and a lot of you guys have watched a lot of my videos if you haven't I want to encourage you guys please hit that subscribe button it uh, the only thing that happens to you if you subscribe is it might recommend some more of my videos <laughs> but it helps me it encourages me and it uh, promotes me to want to do more videos so if you guys would be willing I would greatly appreciate it and already appreciate you just taking the time to watch and listen to me ramble which is basically what I do a lot of the time is just ramble but uh, so number one my parameters my alkalinity I just tested yesterday it's at 9.2 it's pretty steady between like 8.8 .8 and 9.3 ish Right after I do a water change, I use Instant Ocean Reef Crystals. Right after I do a water change, sometimes it goes up to like 9.4, uh, but usually it's right around 9 to 9.2. I know I want it to be real stable. What I'm using for dosing is the Jabo DP4 dosing pump, and I'm only dosing two part. I'm dosing Brightwell's. Uh, part A and Part B, the buffer and the calcium. So, sorry, I'm getting a little bit of a cold too, and and so that's basically what I dose. And with feeding, I dose amino acids, uh, blended frozen fish foods, and. Neophos and neo nitro I've been adding a little bit here and there. Uh, one thing that's outside of the norm that I just started dosing uh, three weeks ago was I'll just show you here. Let's get a little light. Lugol's. Come on, it's iodine. The iodine solution there we go still not focusing anyways yeah it's Lugol's iodine solution and I've been doing I have a 120 gallon tank in like a 25 gallon sump and I've been dosing uh, two drops every other day and I just did a water change today so I'll wait two more days the water change it replenishes a little bit um, so yeah, other than that and some of that food, that's really about all that I dose. I don't do any of those crazy coral colors and I mean I do add reef energy, uh, nutrition, the AB plus, which is really just more food and vitamins. So I've been doing that for I'd say several months and I like it. It turns your water green and you can watch your coral respond. I usually mix in some uh, different planktons. I use reef roids and reef chilies. Uh, and then the two little fishies, amino acids, acropower. And I'm loving it. So, next question, uh, how much did it cost? <laughs> That's really a difficult question because all along the way I've spent a lot of money but I've also gotten some money back and I've sold probably several thousand dollars worth of coral and whether it's on eBay or people just coming over and so I've, I've gotten some back but honestly I'm gonna say this quietly so my wife doesn't hear I think I've probably got 30 grand invested in this tank over the last three years and this tank is only like seven eight months old uh, but all the coral that has carried over I've bought a lot of nice coral and you can see that I really am a coral enthusiast and so yeah I've I've been willing to spend some money but 
that being said, I'm also going to be getting a lot of that back. And the reason I say that is because if you've been following the channel, I am starting a business. My dad and I are going to be selling coral together. And we're building a couple of big eight foot long tanks by two feet high by 28 inches front to back and they're coming along really nice we're building them out of plywood and um, using pond armor pond shield to paint them so between the wood and the pond armor and all the equipment I think I've spent about eight thousand dollars but you gotta keep in mind these are huge tanks and that includes lighting, pumps, all the filtration, everything, overflows, that's everything. And I've already spent about $2,000 on coral that I've stocked up into this tank that I'm going to be moving over in a couple months when those systems are ready. So, I mean, just to start out like that, and if I was to buy aquariums, it easily would have been five grand a piece for that size, if not more. So... I mean, it's a good way to save some money is build it. It is some work. you got to kind of know what you're doing. And my dad's been extremely helpful. So, Dad, if you watch this video, thanks. Huge shout-out to Eddie. And very much appreciate you. Um, yeah, so all together, like I said, it's, an, it's a pretty nice car in this tank. But there's going to be some return, and I'm willing to work hard. And I think that's what it comes down to is if you love this hobby and you're willing to work hard at it and just do the right thing. You know, people really want to skimp and, and cut corners with this hobby. And you can, in some respects, you can make that happen. It, it can work. But, I mean, it's, it's kind of like when you're raising kids the more corners that you cut and the more that you skimp and cheat it's it's really not benefiting them as much you know when it, especially when it comes to health uh, when it comes to overall well-being I mean this coral it really depends on us to survive we can't just walk away from this tank for a year and expect everything to do well and kick butt like it it actually depends on us so the more that we put into it, and the more that we take care of these animals, the better they respond, and the happier they are. And so I want to encourage you guys, it's okay to go cheap with the hobby. Black box LEDs, and, you know, Jabo wave makers, and even, even some cheaper stuff. But just know what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. And, and that really is the truth. And I know that a lot of people say... You know, BRS does all these videos on all this equipment, and I read the comments, and a lot of people say it's basically a rich man's hobby. Why does everyone charge so much for all this? And yeah, I don't have a good answer. I don't, I don't know why myself, and I don't like that I have to spend a lot of money either. Um, but I, I do kind of understand, and it's just the way it is. So we kind of have to accept that. I think. I think voicing what we think is good and and wanting to hold these big companies accountable is good. It really is. We need to. And they need to be willing to listen. And that's what I like about BRS is they really do listen. They do care about the reefing community. And while running a business, they still want to see you succeed in every way. And so I understand it is expensive and it is very frustrating when you're trying to set up one small 40 gallon tank, one small 40 gallon tank and get nice equipment and all of a sudden you look at how much money you've spent and boom, there goes five grand, right? Yeah, it's expensive. But if you work at it over time, and and you really enjoy it and put your heart and soul into it man it's so rewarding it's so rewarding and i mean you can go so far to say is you know some of these coral farms are growing out coral 
and they're actually putting some back in the ocean, which is, you know, in the big picture, might might be helping a little bit, but it's just cool that people care and and want to make a difference, and I think that's cool. That's something I want to get on board with. I I love the hobby, and I want to be able to support other reefers and other hobbyists, and yeah. So again, with that in mind, you know, I want to remind everyone at a thousand subscribers I will be sending a nice coral package out so you really don't want to miss that the only way the only thing you need to do is subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave some comments you know let me see your name out there and at the end I'll I'll do a fair fair <laughs> giveaway I don't know how I'm gonna decide to do it but I mean, for one of you guys, that's that's some nice coral. So, and uh, these are some eclectic shrooms that I got. About ten for nine hundred and fifty bucks, and um, it was an eBay seller, and it was kind of a interesting transaction. I talked a little bit about it a few videos ago and got a lot of feedback over it. But uh, that was a pretty good deal. You know, I'm not afraid to be honest about the hobby either. So I still, I still want to make some money off of this coral. And my, my goal is not to buy a coral for 80 bucks and turn around and sell it for 160 But I still need to make something. And so I want to be reasonable. I want to be fair, and I'm willing to work with you guys. I'm a military veteran. I always ask everywhere if places do military discounts. Some some do, some don't. Usually it's 10 percent, but you know. So I I've always appreciated that. I've honored those companies and those people who uh, respect the veterans, and so I I want to do something similar too. But uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. I, I appreciate you watching. And um, I would continue this video, but I'm just about out of time for my recording. I have to go back and delete some more videos. Uh, in fact, why don't I do that, and then we can get to the third question. And I'll have some, some more time to continue the video. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So, so basically, just to finish question number one, what are your water parameters? Um, I, yeah, so the elk is right around 9.2. Calcium was a little on the high side. It's running about 480 uh, when I sent in my water sample. Um, magnesium is almost 1400, so that's a little high as well. And, um, <laughs> my son's out there. He had a little accident today. He had to go to the ER and... But everything's all right. He's just not feeling too well. But uh, yeah, thankfully he's all right. And uh, so phosphates are 0 0.05. Nitrates are about 10 parts per million now. Uh, my temperature runs between 77.8 and 78.3. It's a little hot today, so it raised up a little bit. Um, my pH, man, I haven't tested or checked that for so long. But when I was checking it consistently, it was like 8, 8.1. And my salinity is 35 or 1.026. Um, 35 parts per trillion, I believe. But uh, yeah, so those are the parameters. Lighting is all over the board. There's no easy way to answer that question. You can see I've got one, two, three, four different types of lights up here. This is the Reef Bright LED strip in the front, just the Atinic Blue. Two AI Hydra uh, 32s, and a Radeon XR15 Gen 4 Pro, and just a 24 inch T5 fixer with two Blue Plus bulbs. So we are heavy on the blue side, but yeah. So that should pretty much wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your guys' questions and your thoughts. And again, I always want to be teachable in this hobby. So those of you who like sharing advice, I encourage and welcome it. Uh, please just do so with 
some respect and also try to put it kindly. <laughs> some people can seem very blunt and almost intrusive with their advice, but uh, either way, appreciate you guys. Again, if you would subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. All right, guys, talk to you later. See you in the next video.